Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection. This just launched and it is available now on Ulta. I purchased mine from the Lorac website. So many beautiful things. We have glosses, lipsticks, eyeshadows, and face palettes. So really everything you need. I'm going to do a first impression. I'm going to try everything on, show you my thoughts as we go, and then give you a final review. So if you're interested in learning about the new Beauty and the Beast collection, please keep watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So the first thing that I have is the eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It says, Tale as Old as Time. Super cute. It's like a little notebook. And when you open it up, there is a brush that just fell. I will pick that up momentarily. But this is what it looks like. So here are the shades. And then there is a mirror kind of with like a little frame. I don't know if you can see that. So super pretty. The colors are kind of strange, I will say. But I got sucked into the whole Beauty and the Beast thing. I was just like, you know what? I got to get it all. It was just kind of like out of nowhere. And I felt like I couldn't miss the gravy train, so I went ahead and picked it up. So we're just going to play around. I'm going to show you swatches of everything, and then I'm also going to use these shadows on my eyes. And we'll see if the pigmentation is good or bad or my thoughts on it. Now, there is a brush that comes with it. It does have kind of like a blending side, which doesn't look too bad, actually. And then a kind of flat pencil -y side, so you could use it on your lower lash line, or you could also pack on color. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll just switch to some other brushes. All right, so I scooted you guys in. I'm going to go in with this first shade. It's called Look Beyond. It's just a light tan shade. I feel like it would work for a transition, so we're just going to start with that, and then we'll go from there. So I am using the brush that they gave. The shade is blending nicely. It's really soft. It's not... um like grabbing anywhere so I'm just gonna smoke this kind of all in my crease and a little bit down on the lid next I'm gonna go into the shade called our guest this is a matte kind of grayish blue color and we're just going to basically wing it I don't know what I'm doing but we'll just try it out it looks like a nice pretty matte blue so I'm just gonna apply this to the outer V area and then I'm just going to kind of smoke it all over. So first impression is it was, I mean, nice. I mean, I feel like I did, it's blending really nice, man. There's no um, skipping and there's no grabbing. I hate that when you get a shadow and you lay it down and it just like has a big chunk right there and you can't blend it. These are blending really nicely. Um, so this must be the same formula as typical... The rock shadows. Now I'm going to go into the shade Beast Mode, which is this kind of brighter pop of blue, a little bit deeper, almost like a royal blue. And we're going to kind of maybe do like a halo type eye, and I like that name, Beast Mode. I think that's cute, obviously, in theme with the Beauty and the Beast. For this shade, I am going to use a different brush. I'm going to use a Smith 230 just to really be able to get in um, and do the halo effect. This shade is really pretty, really pigmented. You can see on the brush it is dark. So I would say use a uh, light hand with this one at first. So once I have that, I'm gonna blend back and forth with the brush that came in the kit. And then we're going to do it again. So just kind of deepening up. For the center of lid, I'm going in with Timekeeper. This is like a shimmery um, gunmetal gray. So hopefully that will kind of pop on top of the blue. And if it doesn't, then I might go into this next shade, but we'll try this one first. I am gonna use the brush that they did provide because it is kind of flat. I feel like it would work. And then I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics spray. I always spray just to get the most out of shimmery shadows. This has good pigment though, it's just not um, as light as I thought. To lighten up even further, I'm gonna go in with Dream It, which is the lightest shimmery shade in the palette. This is like an icy white, and we'll see if we can get it to really pop on the um, center of my lid. So I don't necessarily know if that did a ton, so I'm just gonna leave it at that, just blend out any harsh edges. I definitely think it's pretty, it's um, darker and it's more cool toned. I feel like this palette is pretty cool toned. You do have kind of those romantic shades down here for a lighter look, but I mean, there's a few warms in there, what, four warms, but the rest of them are pretty much cool. So 
Um, it's kind of nice because I feel like a lot of the times palettes are just so warm, so maybe it'll get you out of your kind of funk. So I'm actually going to go in, I'm trying to think what I want to do. I'm going to sweep this shade on the lower lash line just to start out and then we'll go from there. Going back into our guest, which is like that grayish blue, and I'm going to start working this on the lower lash line. Okay, next I'm going to go into the shade Swept Up. It looks like a deep brown black with some glitter in it, and I'm going to use this to really deepen up the lower lash line. So now that we have the eyeshadow on, I'm going to go in with some liner, and I'm going to do a wing um, liner just because I feel like that's what I'm feeling like doing. Next we're gonna go in with the face palette. So there's three blushes and a highlighter. I've seen swatches that were so stunning, so I have high hopes for this product. So I'm gonna mix Sea Beyond and Enchanted, and it's looking like it's pretty pigmented. I have a Smith brush, so let's try it. It's really pretty. I like strong blush, so. Okay, let's try the highlight. This is called Fearless. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh. Okay, it looks a little bit, um, wow, that's pigmented. It looks a little bit dark, but I think it'll work for my skin tone. I would say if you're um, less, like if you're light or fair, it might be a little too dark for you, but I'm gonna try it on the cheeks and we'll see how it blends out. So it's really pigmented and nice. I'm gonna try to build it up just to see. I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Spray. I typically do this with all highlighters, but this one you really honestly don't need to. So next, they did come out with a lipstick set. There's five lipsticks in here. Looks like you get kind of three neutrals, a deep brown, and a red. So I'm gonna open this up and we'll see what color I think is gonna go with the look. I went ahead and applied some lip liner. I did go in with the Maybelline, this is Nude Whisper 105. And then I also went in with my Milk uh, Lip Stain. And then I'm gonna actually use the color, this is the color True Beauty. It looks like a kind of neutral pinky nude. It's not too warm, so I'm hoping that it'll play nicely with the cool tones that we have going on. Beautiful color, wow. Feels really creamy. This doesn't feel like a matte formula. Obviously like a creamy formula, beautiful pigment, slides nicely on the lips. I like this color because it is a little bit more neutral, a little bit more cool toned than the typical nudes that you see. So I'm really impressed. This collection is really great. Now they also did come out with a lip gloss collection. Five lip glosses again. It looks like you have three kind of peaky peaches and then a dark brown and a red. So I'm gonna just probably apply a nude on top just so we can try it on and then I will show you swatches of everything. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Belle Leave. It's a cute name. It's a spin on Belle. And we're just gonna apply this So that deepened my lip a little bit, so I'm actually going to go in with True Beauty, which is like a light pinky shade, and see if I can lighten it up a little bit. From the feel of it, they're not sticky at all. They feel really moisturizing, and I think they're high shine um, with, I want to say, light to medium pigment. So they're definitely not completely clear, but they're not like, it's not like an Anastasia kind of gloss formula. So now for my review and overall opinion of the Beauty and the Beast Lorac collection. I want to start off with the eyeshadow palette. I think the quality is great. Uh, you could see when I was blending it was really easy to blend. I do feel like the shades are a little bit strange. I don't know if I would pick it up if it wasn't like a Beauty and the Beast collector's item. Just because of the shades. If you like cool tones I think you would really get a lot of use out of this. Um, the mattes are super creamy. The ones that I did use. I will insert some swatches as well to show you all of the shades. Shades. I just think that the colors are a little bit strange, but I think that this would be good for every day as well if you want to get into these kind of browns and creams, and then you could go to a smoky look. So would I pick this up if this wasn't limited edition? Probably not. The quality is amazing, but the shades are a little off for me. Moving into the face palettes is probably, well, this is one of my favorite things from the collection. Really, the whole collection was great. This is gorgeous. I would absolutely pick this up. This is something that I would buy if it wasn't in the collection anyways. 
The shades are just beautifully pigmented. That highlighter is stunning. I just feel like this is something that you can wear all year round, but specifically for spring and summer, just gorgeous pink flushes. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. So if you are like teetering, I'm telling you go for this. This is so beautiful. Pigmented, creamy, no skipping, just soft, and the highlighter is stunning. Moving on to the lipstick set, you do get five lipsticks. I only tried the one on my lips, but I can tell you that it was pigmented, creamy, so beautiful. You do get three neutrals, and then this is a neutral as well. It's like a little bit of a deeper brown. I will insert some swatches for you guys, and then you do get the red. I'm not so much into the red just because if I'm going to wear a red lip, I want it to be a liquid lipstick, but I'm not getting any lines on the inside of my lips. I've been wearing this color for maybe 45 minutes now, so that's a good sign. I think these are beautiful colors, beautifully pigmented, and I think the packaging is really special and stunning. So if if you're going to pick up anything, I would go for the lipsticks and the face palette. Just so beautiful. Things that I could see myself using in every day. But just so pretty. You could sit these on your vanity. And the colors are really beautiful as well. And lastly from the collection, we do have the lip gloss set. I don't think that I'm wowed or blown away by this set. It's not bad, but I feel like I have glosses that I would like a lot more. I really like this middle color, but for the set you have to buy all five. And I don't see myself using this dark brown or this red per se. I like more of neutral lip glosses. I do think it's pretty if you're a collector like I am, then absolutely pick it up. Pretty shades, there is some pigment which is good. I can't stand when glosses are completely clear because it's like, what's the point of having five? So absolutely beautiful, but I would say that this is not a must have. So it's something that if you wanna get it, you wanna get your hands on it, great, but it's not something that's like blowing my mind. It's pretty, but it's not like anything to write home about. All right guys, so that is it for me and my Beauty and the Beast Lorac review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad I picked up those products. I'm really blown away by the lipsticks and the face palette. In particular, I see myself carrying some of those lipsticks in my purse and also the face powder. I just wanna use it every day. Such a beautiful highlight and beautiful pinky blushes. Let me know what products stood out to you if you did pick up any or if you plan to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.